and welcome back to my channel today we're back with yet another video and it's one of my favorite cooking I love 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 cooking anyone who knows me know that kitchen is my favorite place to be and I am bringing you guys with me to my kitchen I'm making one of my favorite dish a go-to dish especially after my workout is just quick easy like literally it doesn't require many ingredients and you're going to see this and I hope you get to try it out at home. If you do get to try it out, let me know how you found it. And before we get into it guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share, like and comment. Remember to tell a friend, tell your loved ones, bring them to my channel. Let's build this community together. And if you have been with me since the beginning of the journey, Thank you so much. I love and appreciate you all. I don't take it for granted. So let's go together and let's get cooking. <laughs> okay, so for our favorite dish, we've got salmon and rice and some broccoli. Literally the easiest, easiest thing to make and you don't need much. You've got, um, we're going to be using spring onion. We're going to have our chili and ginger and we will need dark soy sauce and honey. Um, literally, those are the few ingredients you need. It's easy, honestly. Not many things you need and it's also cost effective. to start cooking our rice I think everyone cooks rice differently so sometimes you warm up you heat up the water uh, with salt and some oil or just without salt and oil but then I prefer to wash my rice put in the pot add water um, a bit of salt to give it seasoning but at the same time because we're having uh, teriyaki salmon we don't want too much salt um, so you want the rice to balance with the sweetness of um, the fish. Um, I like to cover my my rice with the foil. It cooks quicker and I'd, also it's better to cook it with the steam. So cover that, make sure it's a tight, close, completely close. While our rice cooks, we're going to make our sauce for the salmon. Um, again, I like to wash my salmon and then leave it pat it dry. Okay, so we're going to transfer our salmon into a deep container um, so we can add the sauce inside. That's how you want it to look. Um, cover it, leave it in the fridge for 10 minutes. Should be good enough when you're in a hurry. We're cooking our salmon. So make sure your pan is piping hot. Um, our salmon has been marinating for the past five minutes. If I had the time, I would have left it overnight. Okay, so it's very important to also know how to cook your, your salmon. Preferably cook it upside down. So you want the skin to be facing down. And 
and also make sure that it's not on a sticky pan because if you cook it on a sticky pan, it, I say, it's a wrap. You're going to have scrambled salmon. Not, not teriyaki, but scrambled salmon. So cook it side. So at least we're going to cook it side at least two to three minutes. Um, yeah. When you're cooking salmon, especially with anything with honey um, or sweet sauce, it's going to be very, very sticky. So make sure you've got an unsticky pan. And when, like, at the, um, when the skin gets burnt, don't worry about it. As long as the front side looks um, colored, looks nice, and it's cooked, it's cooked through, that's the most important part of salmon. The, that's that's how we want it to look like. Okay, and that's it, guys. Okay, so we're going to make um, our broccoli. Whatever time you get to have your, your, your meal, it's done quick and easy. Like, literally, it takes maximum is going to take you like 20 minutes in the kitchen, and you're done. It's a wrap. You know, sometimes people, um, prefer to have this kind of dishes in restaurants. Um, I don't know if it's because of the time it takes to make or if it's the cost of um, the ingredients. But as you've seen, it doesn't take that long. Um, it just needs you to be completely prepared for it. that you had saved earlier, the ter your teriyaki sauce. This is the part where it, it comes in handy. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit, like a tablespoon of that. Now some. And I love sesame seeds. Um, just sprinkle a little bit of sesame seeds on your salmon or you can just put it everywhere if you want. Just freestyle, have fun with it. Last, last but not least, it will not be an Asian dish without your spring onions. See guys thank you so much guys for watching uh, for giving me your time I am super super hungry and this food is calling me so I don't want to take too much of your time or I don't want you to take too much of my time because my stomach is not happy with me but until next time stay amazing thank you for the love subscribe share like let me know how you found you know this dish how you made it at home how long it took you and also in the meantime tell me what you what else you'd like to see on my channel but until then have a fantastic weekend love everybody share some love share this video with your loved ones i'm just hungry bye have a beautiful weekend stay amazing and enjoy the sunshine Cheers.